But like when I open Twitter, I'm energized. There's a lot of love on Twitter. People say like- I uh, love to, I agree. I have a, you don't think I have a lot of love on Twitter? My fans pay my rent. I mean, I don't know your experience of Twitter, but when I look at your, which is a fundamentally different thing, I'm saying my experience from the, so maybe you can tell me what your experience is like as a human. So when I observe your Twitter, I think, I, I don't, I wouldn't call it love. I would call it fun. Yes. And, and, and because of that, that's a different kind of, that like love emerges from that yes. because people kind of learn that we're having, this is like game night. Like, yes. Uh, you know, we we can talk shit a little bit. We yes. can, uh, and you can, you can even like pull in, you can make fun of people. You can have the crazy uncle come over that um, is a huge Trump supporter or somebody who hates Trump and you can have a little fun. Yes. I get it. It's a different kind of thing. I, I wouldn't be able to um, uh, be the, you're the host of game night. Yes, yes. So <laughs> I wouldn't be able to host that kind of game night. Yeah, I'm I, imagining I, you programming I, your robots <laughs> and you're asking what is fun and it just starts sparkling. And yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. What is fun? <laughs> <laughs> so the robots in my life that survive are the ones that, <laughs> that don't, that like survive that whole programming <laughs> uh, process. So they're kind of like, they're kind of like the idiot from Dostoevsky. They're okay. very like simple-minded <laughs> robots. <laughs> it's just, Fun is moving a can from one table to another. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's game night for 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 our kin. But you know, one of my quotes is, and I, I I think about this every day, and I mean it with every fiber of my being. Uh, we're born knowing that life is a magical adventure, and it takes them years to train us to think otherwise. And I think that Willy Wonka approach, it's a very Camus approach. It's something I believe with every fiber of my being. I try to spread that as much as possible. I think it is very sad. I'm not being sarcastic. I, this, it, it comes off as condescending. I mean it at face value. It's very sad how many people are not receptive to that. And I think a lot of those function how they were raised. And I, I'm, I could have very easily with my upbringing have not maintained that perspective. And there's a lot of, I have a lot of friends in recovery, like AA, and they have an expression, um, not my circus, not my monkeys, right? That you can't really take on other people's problems on your own. At a certain point, they have to do the work themselves because you can only do so much externally. And there are a lot of very damaged people out there. And there are damaged people who revel in being damaged. And they are damaged people who desperately, desperately, desperately want to be well, who desperately want to be happy, who desperately want to find joy. So if I can be the one, and as arrogant as this sounds, I'll own it, who does give them that fun and to tell them it doesn't have to be like you, you thought, like it, it could be, it's going to hurt, it's going to suck, but it's still a magical adventure and you're going to be okay because you've been through worse. Like that, if that could be my message, I would own it all day long. And so what is adventure? look like for you? Because I mean, it actually boils down to, I still disagree with you. I think trolling can can be, and very often is destructive for society. You Yes, I want to destroy society. That is the goal. <laughs> I, want, I want to help many people. Unironically, okay. Unironically, yes. Uh, what do I do with that? Okay, so. Whatever you want, do what thou wilt <laughs> is the hall of the law. Um. Like I just want to, so you're hosting game night, and I just want to play Monopoly. I want to play uh, what's it, Risk? Okay, I want to play these games. And Those you're are saying aggressive games? <laughs> I, yeah, I, don't know, I was trying to think like of a friendlier game, yeah. but they're all kind of aggressive. <laughs> uh, Battleship, <laughs> <laughs> Axis and Allies, you know, fun stuff. <laughs> but like, uh, so that's an adventure. But you're saying that we want to destroy everything, to even like. The rules of those games are are not no, like you voluntarily agree to those rules. The point is, if someone comes in who's not who no one invited to game night and are telling you no, when you play Monopoly, you have to get money when you land in free parking, or you don't. Yeah. it's like who are you? Yeah, we're having our own fun, and you smell. <laughs> I don't know, but there's there's a an aggressive there's an aggression. Let me let me speak to that, which I think yeah. you're picking up on. Uh, I had a friend named Martha, Marsha, excuse me. She ran something called cuddle parties, which people laughed at about a lot back in the day. And the premise of the cuddle party is everyone got together and cuddled, right? And it's like, ah, ha, ha. Then you stop to think about it and you realize uh, physical contact is extremely important and a lot of people don't have it. And if this is a mechanism of people getting that, it actually is going to have profound positive psychological consequences. So after she explained it, I'm like, okay, 
we laughed at this because it's weird. And now that I think about it, this is wonderful. And and I asked her about like, like the tough question. I go, uh, what if guys get turned on? And on their website, it even has a rule, like do not fear the erection, right? Because it's going to be a natural consequence of physical proximity. Yeah. And the point she goes, she, she said this, I think about this all the time. People will take as much space as you let them. It is incumbent on each of us to set our own boundaries. We all have to learn when to say, no, you're making me uncomfortable. If someone doesn't respect your right to have your boundary to be uncomfortable, this person is not your friend. Now they can say, I don't understand. Like, why is this okay? Why is that not? I, let me know you better so I'm respectful of you. But if they roll their eyes and they're like, get over, I'm gonna do what I want. This person is not interested in knowing you as a human being. Okay. And that is the aggression. It is, yeah. you have to draw those lines. I mean, but that's a very positive way of phrasing that aggression. I'm a very positive person. 